Hey guys, long time no see. Um, I haven't picked up my camera since Christmas Eve, I think. It is like January 5th. Ignore this. I gotta wipe this. This freaking gel turns white on me. I don't understand. The other flavor doesn't. Um, I took my dreads out. My full locks. And I gave myself a little top knot bun. Um, just to get me through less than a week. Because next Friday I'm taking my maternity pictures. So I'm going to get a new hairstyle probably on Thursday. So I'm going to have this hairstyle tomorrow. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. For five days. Oh, for five days. Um, It's late too. So I'm not going to vlog much tonight. But I did just go downstairs and get my package. Because my baby shower dress has arrived. And I'm about to try it on. I'm not going to show you guys because obviously. I also got my gender reveal dress from fashion nova because y'all know fashion nova they have like the special occasion dresses section and they have like some 300 dollars dresses up there so it's not like the dresses are cheap but i'll be finding the cute ones that are not so much and then i use a coupon so i got it for a really good price and i hope it looks cute with my belly i'm about to try it on but i just wanted to check in and say hey because it's been a while and I'm getting huge. I don't have no panties on right now, so can't show you guys my stomach. But I'm getting huge. My stomach, at least. Um, yeah, I'm about to try my dress one. But I wanted you to see, you guys to see that I took out my freaking low locks. And I'm so happy because I feel free and cute and young with my little style. But I got to wipe this damn edge control off because this shit is really turning white. And I don't understand why. But yeah. Hey guys, it's the next day. Um, it's Saturday. I'm on my way to work. I got this cute champion hoodie. I mean, champion sweatsuit. And I think I just look so adorable. <laughs> I just think I look so adorable. So I just wanted to come on camera and show you guys my cute sweatsuit. Because I think I look so adorable. My belly. Girl. If I was any bigger, I wouldn't be able to fit this. Um, my grandma loves when I have my hair like this, and so do my baby daddy. Speaking of baby daddy, let me walk out while I'm telling y'all this. Baby daddy, like I was saying, my baby daddy, his, he's sick. Oh my god, he's sick. And y'all know men act like the world is freaking over when they sick. Why is that? Like, y'all don't go through shit. Women have... Hold on. I need y'all to see me. Anyways, women have periods. Women bear children. Women do it all. Okay? Ugh, it's raining. I got my hair like this. Ross Clot. Hold on, I can't get my camera wet. Men act like the world's about to come to a fucking end when they get sick. Like, boy, if you don't calm your ass down, I feel crazy. I can't smell. I can't. Nigga. Okay. Do you want to carry this um big old baby? Dear Lord, thank you for traveling in mercy and traveling in grace in Jesus' name. But today go in everyone's favor and in your favor and in your will in Jesus' name. <clears throat> um, I'm like, okay. Do you rather, would you rather carry this baby? And like, y'all, I know, I don't know. Me, in my relationship, while I'm pregnant, I don't want to hear what hurts on your body. I don't want to hear what aches or what pains. I care, but I really don't want to hear it. Especially if you're, you know, you're breathing, you're alive and well, and it's not messing up your livelihood. I don't want to hear it. So, um, yeah. He was irritate me, but I was trying to keep my cool because I'm like, oh, we didn't all been there where we just didn't feel good. We just want somebody to care. So this morning, well, it's already 11 o'clock, but I have 11.30 client, but I got the bright idea. I'm like, Ayana, let me be nice. Let me be a nice girlfriend. Cause I'm 
y'all we can have a whole talk on why I'm not the nicest girlfriend I'm sure we didn't all been here a million and one times where we just ugh, especially being pregnant it's like your significant other pisses you off more than ever before but I was like let me be nice because this boy act like he don't know that he what medicine he needs to take what he needs to do to get better and it would be nice if I just went over there and just brought him the necessary items because he has to work today bought him the necessary items to feel better so he can just shut the fuck up and stop complaining about having a fucking cold i said you lucky you don't have a sore throat that's what that's when shit is fucked up when you have a freaking sore throat when you sick i'll take some sniffles and snuffles i will take that but to um to have a sore throat that shit is not cool that's all. So, I'm gonna go get him some Vicks. He needs some Vicks. Maybe even the big sticks will work. I probably should just go to Walgreens and get it now because I'm not gonna really find it cheap. Walgreens is expensive. There's no purpose of me. Yeah, because they don't have that stuff at um Dollar General. And I always be getting on him for getting Dollar General medicine. I'm like, how you get medicine for a dollar and you think it's gonna work? If that was the case, they wouldn't sell your eight and nine dollar medicines. If that was going to work, I probably should have got the medicine from inside the house because we got stuff in the house. But I'm gonna get him some Dayquil. And I'm gonna get him the big sticks that you just stick up in your nose so you don't have to walk around with Vicks all in your nose and whatnot. And um, maybe some something. But again, like I said, I have a 11.30 client. And yeah, I gotta get to work. It's a nasty day out today. And yeah. Oh, and by the way, I was texting my mother last night and she stopped responding. I'm like, okay, like, what the hell? Just now when I woke up, she came in my room, she's like, someone stole my phone last night. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Who steals phones in 2019? Like, in 2019, in 2018, you cannot steal nobody's phone. Like, good night. I just thought about it. I have mad clips that I have not uploaded yet. Being that that was last year, technically in 2018, should I even post it? I wonder if I should just get straight into posting my new content, like, you know? But yeah, so that's what's going on. Baby daddy has a cold and he's acting like it's the end of the world. I'm gonna be eight months pregnant on Tuesday. And somebody stole my mother's phone. So there's that. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday and I will try to come back with something interesting. I don't know what it's gonna be, but yeah. Okay guys, I think I did good. I got soup, tea, a roll. I got medicine from Walgreens. I feel like I have a whole baby. He better not get used to this because I only have one child coming into this world, okay? Honey, one child coming into this world. You are grown. You better figure out how to take care of yourself when you're sick, okay? I'm just trying to be nice because apparently I'm not a nice girlfriend. And I don't care. So I'm just going to be like, come outside. I'm not going to even record it. I might record it. I don't know. But I'm going to just um, be like, bring your ass outside. <laughs> he, told, he told me he's mentally preparing for work. Like, it's nothing... Yo, men be doing the most. I wonder if y'all know that y'all do the most. If I have any men watching, y'all do the absolute most. Like, anyway, yeah. Highlights popping. I'm going to church. My stomach. Never been to church in a month. Crazy. I don't know what this is on my shirt. I think it's oil, but oh well, it's gonna be there today. Unless you're really looking at me real hard. Mm. Your baby mama, she gonna do that baby mama. You gonna cut it on me. She gonna do that baby mama. Drop it down, drop it down, down low. Drop it down. I was in the Worshiping. Hello, how are you? It's probably 
packed in here because I've never parked this far from the door. Anyways, I'm going to my doctor's appointment. Ooh. I'm in here every two weeks. I feel like I'm in here every week. But yeah, I will talk to you guys when I get out of here because I know it must be packed. Y'all, tell me why I just got in the car. I made Dunkin' Donuts. Lord, if I... I made Dunkin' Donuts. And a man, he's getting out of his car. So God be the glory. Oh my gosh. And he's looking at me. I'm like, why is he looking at me? He's like, you dropped your wallet. I swear I didn't even feel it fall out. I had it in this pocket right here. Oh, well, this is not a real pocket. No freaking wonder, bruh. Yo, I would have been sick as hell. This is not a real pocket. I put it in the inside pocket of my coat. It's not even a pocket. Anyways. Yeah, he told me I dropped my wallet. I would have never felt it. I would have drove off. I got an ice latte. Because I wanted something sweet. Um, But yeah, I just came from... I just came from the doctor. And shit is getting really, really, really real. Um, my doctor's appointments so far. I think she booked me out. She booked me out until the end. This show's getting on the mother freaking roll, you guys. Today, um, well, obviously when you guys see this, I don't know how many weeks I'm going to be. <sighs> because I just don't be posting sometimes I record a video. I, mean, I don't upload as soon as I, the same day I record. But um, I'm 32 weeks and two days today. So hopefully I'll try to get this up in a timely fashion. But my next appointment is on January 24th. That's also the same day as my nail appointment for my baby shower. Because y'all know my baby shower is January 27th. But I need an appointment. My nail salon don't do appointments on Friday or Saturday. So I will be getting my nails done the Thursday before. Um, What else? And then my next appointment after that, I'll be 36 weeks. And it's my last ultrasound. Oh, my last ultrasound. Granted, I haven't had an ultrasound in 12 weeks since I was 20 weeks anatomy scan. So, I haven't seen my baby this long. I guess I'll be fine because after that, I'll be seeing her in real life. So, it really doesn't matter. But it's just crazy that this pregnancy has just went by like this. This is just amazing to me. I'm literally eight months pregnant. After my 36-week appointment... Um, my appointments are going to be every week. So literally for the month of February, I'll be at the doctor every week. Just waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for this little girl to poke through. Um, everything looks good. Blood pressure, weight gain. Um, and she's measuring exactly 32 weeks. She's not measuring smaller. She's not measuring bigger. She's measuring 32 weeks. So my due date is the same. Um, which is good. It's cool. And, yeah. Today, well, I'm on my way to work. Not to work, but I had to get my hair done. Because tomorrow I'm taking my maternity pictures. So, of course, tomorrow will be a fun vlog. Or well, the next vlog you guys see after this will be a fun vlog. Um, because vlogmas and all of that crap is over. Um, Yeah. And then today, her um, dresser should be coming. I ordered my baby's dresser the other day. I think Monday. And today is only Thursday. And it's already coming. So, shout out to you, Wayfair. Because they shipping is quick, honey. They shipping is quick. I got her crib from there as well. And then this weekend, we're also going to be painting and stuff. I think my grandma's going to paint her room this weekend. Um, yeah. And so, as soon as that paint dry and stuff, then we'll put up her crib and whatnot. I don't know if I even blogged that her stroller and car seat also came. Literally every other day, something is coming for this baby. And shout out to my cousin who actually bought her stroller and car seat. Um, I don't know if you're ever going to watch this, but I appreciate you so, 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 so much. And I love you. And my baby loves you. And, yeah, she's not coming to my baby shower. But she's going to come up here in May. So, my baby will be three months. 
and so cuddable, cuddly and lovable when she when you come see her. But yeah, she want my baby stroller in her car seat, and that's just such a blessing. Um, she wanted to buy it, so I'm so appreciative of that. And yeah, family is everything. Um. So yeah, those are pretty much all of the updates for eight months. My back, my back is hurting, you guys. My back is hurting when I stand to work. So I know I just have a couple more weeks left in me. I kind of don't want to order like the belly support thing from Amazon because I know I'm only working for like a couple more weeks, like a month or so. So like, do I want to spend twenty, thirty dollars? Even though it will help me get through it. Um. But yeah, I probably I'm probably still gonna order it knowing me. Um But yeah. Um I plan on stopping work at like 37 weeks. Yeah. So I know that sounds crazy, especially for a hairstylist I'm standing up. But I know I can do it. I know I can do it. After the baby shower, I'm take a few days off. My baby shower is on a Sunday, so I'm not going to work like that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I might go back that Thursday and Friday. I need me a few days to just sit there and enjoy the moment and the memory and stuff like that. But yeah, y'all, I'm about to go in the shop. I have no idea what I'm about to do to my hair. No idea. I didn't buy no hair. All I know is that I have a closure and I have a bunch of hair in my, like, drawer from just a bunch of different hair when you a stylist you just accumulate hair so i know i have that but i knew i was not i'm not buying no freaking hair to turn around and take this hairstyle out in two more weeks for my baby shower so yeah we're about to go in here and figure this shit out but yeah just want to update you guys all right